Hi, this is Mark Hauser, and uh, let's talk. Is this for you? What are your concerns? Well, most of the time I find people have their concerns. First one is, will I learn everything I need to know to run my firm? Yeah, you will. You'll learn every single thing that it's going to take to run a full, complete public adjusting firm. And you're not going to be there alone. We'll help you through phone and email mentorship as well. So when you need specifics, we'll be there also for specifics for you. Uh, another one. What if I fail my state test? Some people are afraid that uh, they haven't taken a test in a really, really long time and, hey, will I be able to do this? Well, number one, uh, it's a multiple choice and we give you uh, well over, uh, I got about 480 some uh, questions that are actually coming from the direct test that are being given throughout the United States and we give you hard detailed information and you can see it over and over and over again to prep for it even if you were to fail the first time you'll usually blow it away the second time so failure is really not an option it's more of a concern will uh, this new experience of taking a test again you know am I ready for it and most people they are here's another one I don't know anything about construction will this hurt me well uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you right now that uh, if you do have some construction background, you know, that's good. But believe it or not, that also can hurt you actually knowing construction because you don't think that you can learn anything new. Sometimes it's a big deal. And the other thing is that uh, uh, you, you've you been doing things the wrong way. A public gesture estimate and a contractor's estimate, totally two different things. And I don't care if you were trained as an insurance adjuster. That's definitely a different adjuster uh estimate than what you would find with uh, uh, dealing with you know, a public adjuster estimate. Here's another one. If I can't find a claim to represent, what if I can't find a claim to represent? Well, um, once you know what's covered under a policy, it's kind of hard to miss them. I mean, they're all over the place. It's kind of like when I was a kid. Uh, I was young and I had just, my father just bought me a um, uh, a red Ford pickup because I was becoming a uh, believe it or not a uh, I used to shoe horses for a living and uh, so we were getting a truck ready so I could shoe horses and uh, it was a fat red Ford pickup well everywhere I went after I got that red Ford pickup I mean I, I saw I saw them all over the place I thought that everybody had a red Ford pickup because once you know what's covered under a policy it's so hard not to see them plus there's so many contacts and there's just nobody out there that are willing to help these people. Finding one ready to represent, not really that big of a deal. Uh, the main thing is, is that making sure that you don't take on too many, that you're not properly communicating with your clients. That should be your biggest concern. And here's another one. How fast will I see a return on my investment? Now that's a good question. How fast will I see it? Well, if you're concerned about, you know, your your next meal well then it definitely won't be fast enough for you because return on investment it all depends upon how fast you're going to be able to go through the school and that means what kind of time are you willing to dedicate to it it's not will the school teach you it's how much time are you willing to put into it because it takes it's a systematic amount of time it takes about 80 hours on average for the average person if you're not willing to put in the time then you know how can you expect to have any kind of output but if you are willing to put in the time, then you're going to learn. It's because it's simple. It's simple repetition. It's very easy to learn. On top of that, um, your investment, uh, we're talking about 30, 60, 90 days for money to come out from a claim. Uh, so it all depends upon how fast you're willing to put your time in. Finding claims is not a problem. Processing them, you know, I just realized that uh, in the beginning, you're putting things in a pipeline but it fills up that pipeline very quickly so that it's never concerned ever again for the rest of your life. There's more than I thought. Many people tell me this. They'll look at it and they go, wow, I didn't realize just how extensive this program is. And the first thing that comes to mind is, do I need to know everything before I can represent a claim? I mean, there's so much in here. It'll take me forever to go through it. In fact, believe it or not, this site doubles in size every six months. Oh my goodness. It means I have to know every single thing and then you're going to keep on adding more stuff? No, 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 no. 
There's five major sections you need to know, and there's reference materials in each one of those sections. And you not only need to know the specific lessons, so that you're going to be there. It takes about 80 hours to be up and running, regardless. All the other stuff is all there to help you on your journey once you've gotten the rest, the first part done. It's that added support that people always want. We have it. So do all this information, have it all done? No. That's not what it's there for. Where do I start with all this information? Well, first thing we said is you need to have your license, so you got to get ready for that test. So you take the test testing section. Then you need to know about policy and scope because policy is king. Then you need to know about estimating the scope. That will go quite quickly because you need to have just the, the videos and understanding and, and go through the other sections as far as the estimating, which would be the uh, contents and also the loss of use. Then you have, uh, you know, it is the negotiating, which is not that difficult. There are basic, simple rules. You follow those rules, everything works. And then the last one is marketing, which is, believe it or not, one of the easiest things to do because there's just so many ways of going it. You only need to do one or two of them to really make it work for you. Okay. If my state says I need to have field hours with someone in my state, will you help me with that? Of course, that's what we do. We have an association members all throughout the country that are looking to try to help other people for two reasons. Number one, they want to have other people that can do appraisals with them, which is one thing I think we've already taught you. And the other thing is that they have a motto that we live by in this in this association, which is you can never give out enough goodwill changing one life at a time, and the life you'll end up changing will end up being your own. And we live that here, and so do a lot of the members, because we live it, they live it also. One time, one person once told me, some people make excuses, other people make money. These are basically some of the excuses that I hear. Um, I want to do some more internet search on public adjusting so I can know more about the industry. You'll have learned more about public adjusting on this one web page than you will find anywhere else in the whole internet. Uh, it's amazing how little there is. Uh, in fact, if anything you'll see is other public adjusters who have sites who will basically give you their sales pitches as, as, as if you were going to be a client of theirs. That's pretty much the rest of what you'll find. Um, who else is teaching public adjusting? Well, actually in reality they'll teaching you sometimes how to pass, pass a state test and they'll teach you how to do an estimate like an insurance adjuster will, but not a public adjuster. So pretty much that's about it. That's all there is out there. Uh, they're not really teaching you what you need to know as a public adjuster to run a firm. So that's why we put this together, so that there would be a place for people to learn. I can't afford to lose any money. If, um, if the small amount of money that we're talking about and what can change your life, if that's such a concern to you, the main concern isn't that you won't be able to learn it from us. The concern is that you haven't been able to perform in the past and you're concerned about your own performance, not ours. Because we have a track record. In fact, a track record that actually has uh, three major corporations that are now doing well within a million dollars in fees after four years of us being around. So it's not our performance that's concerned. It would be yours. I have so much stuff happening in my life right now. I don't know if I'll have the time. Well, another person who's a friend of mine said, you know, you know, if you don't take the time, don't expect to get the time. And that means something. If you're not willing to invest in yourself when you need it, when you have the time, See, people say they don't have the time, but it's funny that the busy people are, that I go to are the ones who end up getting things done, and they're the ones who end up with all the rewards. So if you're not willing to see that and understand that, then you'll always be, I don't have the time. <laughs> By the way, you don't have the money either. Or you're concerned consistently about your industry, your job, whatever. That won't go away if you're not willing to invest the time in yourself. It's hard to change other people, but it's easy to change yourself. 
To me, these are the true concerns. These are the things you should be concerned about while we've been talking about this all the time. I want to pray about this. I want to be in the Lord's will. And as a born-again Christian, I believe in that. And if you're not where the Lord wants you to be and, and coming to us, it's not a good thing for you to be here. You need to be doing what He wants you to do. Now, if you think that uh, in doing public jesting that you would definitely be out of the Lord's will just because of what we do, well, that's a fallacy. Because actually the Lord is what helped us to do what we're doing. He's the one that inspired us and gave us a dream to want to change many people's lives. And just to let you know, about 60% of the people that join our association for some reason happen to be what I call born-again Christians. Why? I don't know. But they seem to find us. Here's another one. I need to make sure my spouse agrees with me in doing this. That's really important. We have a rule in our house, happy wife, happy life. I think that if you're not, if your spouse isn't with you 100%, then it's, you know, it's very hard to get anything done. But when they are with you, it's very hard for you not to get things done. You're motivated and you're just inspired to do whatever you can do um, for your family and for your, for your spouse. It's a very important thing. I have fear that I may not complete this because I've had a bad track record. You know, there's a lot of people that are that way. I had a friend of mine once say that he wished quitters would quit quitting. And I think I believe in that. You know, at, at some point in time, you have to stand up as a man or a woman and start to say, you know, here and no farther. No longer will this be taking control of my life. I am going to take control that I am going to put the time in. I am going to put the effort in. There's nothing that can stop me. And that's the person that will win. The one who automatically sees the roadblocks and doesn't see the that they can hurdle them, that can jump them. Um, it's amazing the things that can be done. People used to always say, hey, oh, I mean, I just uh, would love to be able to do this. And boy, wouldn't it be great if we could do that? And believe it or not, I was the kind of person who always says, you know what? It really was. When I did it, and you can do it too. I always say, if one person can do it, so can another. I have a felony record in my past. This is very important. If you've had a felony, you cannot be a public jester. That doesn't mean that we haven't overcome this, but it's very, very difficult, and it does take time. This is for you if you are tired of watching insurance companies cheating homeowners. I'll tell you, it just burns me up when I see what they do and they take advantage of the system. Basically the homeowner has to represent the claim. They have no idea of, of, the, of the policy. They have no idea about restructured methods, pricing, anything. And these people are under stress. I get really steamed at that. If, if that takes your steam and you want to do something about it and you're sick and tired of seeing that happen and you want to turn things around for homeowners and help them, then this is for you. This is for you. If you want to take control of your income and not let the economy run your life, hey, you know, I've been there. I've had major organizations that I've put together and I've built companies and everything else, and then the economy turns around and it takes it away. This is the one business that that won't happen in. This is totally recession-proof because we could care less if a homeowner wants to build a house or if, or if they want to do renovations or if somebody wants to sell a house. None of that makes any difference. We work on the other side of the actuarial tables. That means that I know that I'm automatically going to have, you know, if I have a half a million homes, I'm going to have 60 to 65 hot water heaters that day that will burst and damage a home between, between $5,000 to $20,000. It's just a mathematical fact. And there's not enough public justice. Not in any way, form, or fashion is there enough public adjusters. So, and it's, by the way, it's inflation proof, which means that uh, uh, as the price of things rise, so do your income, because you make money on a percentage basis. So it's great for the economy. So if that's your concern, this is for you. This is for you if you have a dream 
of a lifestyle you want to 